Welcome to Introduction to Accounting, Preparing for a User's Perspective, Expanded Accounting Equation, Computing Changes in Ending Balances. In the prior two videos, I introduced the Balance Sheet Equation, which is Assets equals Liabilities plus Equity. And then in the second of those two videos, I showed how that equity gets expanded into its two component pieces, the contributed equity, which is contributed capital, and the earned equity, which is retained earnings. What we'll do now, instead of just focusing on computing a missing piece of ending balances, we may give beginning, ending, and ask you to do the change or something like that. So we're just stepping it up a little level to make sure that you fully understand how this all builds up so you can fully handle a large expanded accounting equation. What I like to do is I like to first put down my expanded accounting equation, and then I write down the beginning, ending, and then the change. I just set up a format into which I can put the given information and then I will solve for the unknowns. At the beginning of the year, X1 assets were 50, liabilities were 20, and contributed capital was 5. So we don't know beginning retained earnings. During the year, assets increased by 70. So they went from beginning plus the change equals the ending, and the ending is something we don't know yet. Liabilities decreased by five, so they went down by five. So we had a beginning, we had the change, now this is actually going to be a minus five, equals ending, and we don't know the ending. Retained earnings increased by 40. Now in this case, we don't know the beginning or the ending, so we'll have to use the expanded accounting equation working horizontally to solve for that. That's really all we've been given. So these others, we also don't know ending contributed capital and the change in contributed capital. Now let's read the question and see what it's actually asking for. Compute assets at the end of the year X1. Since we know the beginning to be 50, we know the change to be 70, therefore we know that the ending is 120. 50 went up by 70 to get to 120. Let's go ahead and put that number in here, 120. Compute liabilities at the end of the year X1. We know the beginning was 20. It reduced by 5 to get down to the ending of 15. Compute contributed capital at the end of the year X1. Well, we cannot work vertically in this case because there are three variables and we're missing two. You cannot solve that problem with the information given. However, we can solve horizontally for the change and then we can solve for the ending. Let's do that. As you know, these assets must be claimed either by the lenders and creditors or by the owners. 40 of retained earnings minus 5. We're down to 35. Therefore, the missing piece must be 35. Prove out your work. We have $75 in equity minus $5 in liabilities equals 70. So we're good there. But we're still trying to get this answer, we can't solve that yet without knowing the change. Now that we have the change, we can then work our way through. Take our beginning plus our change equals our ending. Beginning is 5. The change is 35 equals 40 ending contributed capital. Now we have the information to fill in. Compute contributed capital at the end of year X1, that is 40. The change was up 30. Five. Now let's go over to retained earnings. Once again, we cannot solve this vertically because we don't know the beginning or the ending. We're missing too many pieces. But we can work horizontally. These should add up to 50 because they have to claim all $50 of the assets. So what we now need to do is solve for the missing piece here. 20 plus 5 is 25 plus something equals 50. This has to be 25. So that's at the beginning. We can also then work horizontally to determine what this missing piece is. 15 plus 40, that is 55. 55 plus something equals 120. This has to be 65. 65. Once you've done that, prove out your work. It went from 25 up to 65 at the end, so it must have increased by 40. You should prove your work horizontally and prove your work vertically. Once you've gone through and verified all those numbers, you know you've got this computed correctly. 